Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all the items I bring with me whenever I'm traveling, which is very often. I travel almost three to even four times in a year, so I always have to bring with me my art supplies and I can't really bring all that much because I travel really lightly. So today I wanted to share with you exactly what kind of supplies I travel with. Not only all the items that you see here, which are traditional art supplies, but also I'm going to be sharing with you at the end of the video uh, what gear I use for all my digital uh, painting, art supplies, and all that jazz, which is not a lot. It's basically my computer and a tablet, but I'm still going to be showing it to you at the end of the video. So let's grab some tea, let's get relaxed and talk about art supplies. I'm actually going to start with the very basics because no matter where I travel or if I forget to bring my notebooks with me, I always have to bring this little bag with me everywhere. I even bring it with me if I'm just going out wherever I'm living at the moment. So, so you'll know exactly what, what I mean when I open it. So the basics for me are always having pencils around, pens, a few colors here and there. I almost never use color, but I do like to use color to sketch sometimes. I've got mechanical pencils. I fell in love with micron pens uh, this year, so I also bring six micron pens with me everywhere I go. I'm going to share them with you right now. I also bought this really cute uh, pen that is sort of like a micron pen, but not really. Um, it's supposed to be in the shape of a uh, popsicle, but now it's all dirty and mushy and full of graphite, and uh, so it doesn't look very pretty anymore. But it's also a pen for inking. I think those are all my microns, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I have all of this six microns so that I have different line weights whenever I'm inking and I love to use them if I'm sketching. So I have those, I have some pencils here. I have more pencils here, but they're all, all over the place. <laughs> I do travel with one Sharpie, one black Sharpie. I don't know why, I never use Sharpies, but I like to do that. And I also have, you know, your regular pens for writing. Um, I travel always, always with two erasers in case I uh, lose one. <laughs> And I also travel with two sharpeners in case I lose one. And I really like to use this one even, even though it's really old and broken because it collects all of the little pieces of pencil that I shaved off and I don't have to clean my area, which is nice. And other, other than all of this that you see here, I also travel with two cases of lead uh, for my mechanical pencils, which are this one and I have another one right here. So this is what's in my bag and these are the basics because even if I don't travel with the sketchbook or anything like that I can use these to draw even on a white piece of paper wherever I find myself at. So I really like traveling with this. I can't not travel with it. I also always travel with a few brushes for painting. These usually go in my bag of basics but right now they're comfortably laying on this mason jar just so that the tips of the brushes don't get all squeezed up in the the bag of the basics um these are just a few different kinds of brushes for painting uh, all of them are for watercolors and gouache paints so i have this one with like a flat uh, tip i have a really small one for details. I have this one with like a round end to it. I even have these two which I bought at the dollar store and they're not very good but they work sometimes. <laughs> um, and the other ones I have one from uh, Master Stroke. I have two from, three from Master Stroke actually. And I have one from Windsor and Newton and I have these two. This one's also from Windsor and Newton, and I have this one that's from Princeton. So those are the ones that I travel with. 
I usually have another one that's a little bit bigger for like backgrounds but right now I'm traveling with a very small notebook so I didn't really bring it with me don't know if it would have made a lot of difference space-wise but I just didn't bring it with me I also travel with this bad boy this is my set of Kuretake watercolor paints and the reason I like to travel with this one is because it's completely flat as you can see it doesn't take up much space I would say it takes up less space than your regular laptop and I always bring it with a few pieces of paper so that I can dry off my brushes whenever I'm painting and as you can see they come in pans so I don't have to worry about them spilling all over my luggage I don't have to worry about them getting all weird or exploding on me whenever I open them for painting so I travel with this set of Kurotake watercolor paints uh, watercolor paints and I can't remember how many they are but I know it's a lot and it's a set of 36 uh, paints so it's pretty diverse color wise and I can get a lot of combinations out of them so I really like to travel with this bad boy now that we're talking about watercolors you always have to have an area where to mix things so I travel with one of these but I bought this one well I didn't buy this one but I found it at my mom's house when I came here to Mexico so now I'm gonna be traveling with two of these but usually I just travel with one and I'm gonna bring this one back home so that I can have two because I only have one and yeah I use this to you know mix paints it's pretty straightforward I also travel with this little mason jar and this little mason jar has saved my life several times because I use it to mix my watercolor uh, with water you know I use it to clean up my brushes or whatever I have to do if I'm on the go and so it's really handy and you can fill it up wherever you are so I usually travel with it empty and then whenever I get to like a restaurant or a park or somebody's house and I don't want to be social I just fill it up with water and I can start painting so I really like it and it's one of my favorite things now, of course, it would be pointless of me to travel with watercolors if I didn't bring with me a mixed media sketchbook. So I travel with two, actually, because these ones are so small. They're almost the size of my hand. And each of these has 15 pages. So I can, you know, paint my life away whenever I'm bored or feeling creative and I don't have to bring a huge watercolor notebook with me. I really like them because not only can I paint with watercolors here, but I can only use I can also use pens, pencils, gouache. Not that I travel with gouache. I do have gouache paints, but I always uh, keep those at my house. Uh, but yeah, I like to have the versati versatility of traveling with uh, two mixed media sketchbooks. And I do find myself using them a lot, so they're amazing. I also travel with a regular drawing sketchbook thingy for, you know, just pencils and pens. And I make a lot of sketches uh, in these ones. Right now I have a lot of loose sketches that I've made here. And uh, I really only use this for very ugly drawings that I never want to share with anybody because they're just so loose and they're only to help me um, lay out rough ideas of things so that I, I don't really use it that much but uh, as you can see I have several different illustrations here uh, in this sketchbook and yeah it does the job it's just your regular drawing sketchbook thingy the only difference between this and a regular, just regular notebook that you'd buy with white paper is that it's a bit thicker. But other than that, it's uh, from the brand Canson, which is a brand that I very, very much recommend. And yeah, it has 30 sheets of paper, but in this case, this one has a bit more sheets of paper because I brought some more with me, thinking that I would draw more on this trip, but I haven't. Uh, but anyway, I always travel with this and I really like it whenever I have a really rough idea that I need to lay out 
Finally, when it comes to bringing traditional art gear with me, art materials, I always bring with me a regular notebook so that I can write stuff down and so that I can, you know, just write my plans, ideas, whatever I need to do. So yeah, this one's, you know, I tried to draw Mike Wazowski from my imagination and I forgot he has one eye and not two. And that's, this is a nightmare that I came up with and it's horrible. And now you can never unsee it. Now I'm going to share with you uh, my digital media gear stuff that I bring with me, which is basically just my XP pen. Oh, there's my face. <laughs> it's just my XP pen uh, Artist 12 display tablet with the pen and obviously all the cables that come with it, but I'm not going to show that here. And my Acer um, Aspire computer that I have. And that's basically all that I bring with me whenever I'm traveling. It's not a lot, but it does the job and I really like being able to travel with those things. I usually travel with no more than 25 uh, kilograms of documented luggage and like 10 kilos of just my backpack or a bag that I can bring with me on the plane. So that's gonna give you a rough idea of how much space I have for bringing my art stuff with me uh, because I basically travel with my whole life in a big luggage and two backpacks. So if my art can fit in there, then I'm a happy person. Also, I have a question for all of you guys who are watching. I hope that you can answer it in the comments below. But whenever you are traveling, what kind of art materials do you bring with you? Do you bring anything at all or do you just bring a pencil with you? Let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to read them and respond to them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to do the thing. And I'll see you for the next video. Well, this is my outro. Outro? Out, out, outro. This is my outro and I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe to my channel and you can choose to ignore this. Oh, and also you can you can uh, like and comment and stalk me and support me on Patreon. Yeah, that's all that it says here. <laughs>